So that leads us to the new Observer, which is up on the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. And Dave had an update on what the full card might look like. He mentioned Chris Jericho versus Will Ospreay as a rumored match for All In, as well as Moxley, Claudio, and Wheeler versus Eddie, Orange, Cassidy, and a partner. It was noted that Kenny Omega and Takeshita may end up taking place at All Out with a six-man tag between Omega, Hangman, and Kota Ibushi versus and Takeshita. Wait. Omega, Hangman, Page, and Kota Ibushi versus Takeshita, Jay White, and Juice Robinson being rumored for Wembley. So it says if the rumored Jericho Osprey and Moxley Claudio and Wheeler versus Eddie Orange and question mark match is accurate, these would likely be announced or at least strongly teased this weekend because Kingston and Osprey will be available on Wednesday. And uh, the current card, what we know for sure now, is FTR Young Bucks for the tag titles, MGF versus Adam Cole for the world title, MGF and Adam Cole versus Ozzy Open for the tag team titles, Sheeta versus Tony Storm and two other challengers in a four-way, and uh, that'll be either the Soraya Sky Blue winner, or it will be that winner, and also the winner of Britt Baker versus the returning Bunny, and then Sting and Darby versus Swerve and Air Fox in the coffin match. They have teased CM Punk and Samoa Joe, but that one is not official. So that's the all-in lineup as of right now. Guess a lot of debate online. What a surprise with people upset or satisfied or whatever it is when it comes to this card. This is uh, one where you were not going to get universal praise no matter what you do because almost all of your fans are heavily invested in this show and they're all looking at all of these people that are going to be there and they're building it up in their minds and they're thinking about what they would like to see and you're not going to make everybody happy. So the banter about this show is going to take place right up until the, the time the show happens. And you just hope that coming out of it, you know, everybody is uh, everybody's feelings are, are all soothed and everybody's happy with what you put on. If you want to give us a text message, 425-780-7566. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Like Semper VB, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, we got a whole new computer system coming, but it's not going to be here till September. So mm. hopefully this one works out until then. Always trying to make this thing better for you blokes. It's all you can do, Brian. All yeah. you thing you can do is your best. Try to keep improving every single day. One foot in front of the other one. You know what I'm saying? Got to hype you up like Ray Mysterio hyping up Thea Hale. New documents filed with the United States Security and Exchange Commission Thursday revealed 10 of the 11 board members for TKO Group Holdings, company to be created through the WWE UFC merger. Six of the new company's board will be selected by Endeavor, the remaining five by WWE. Today's filing listed the following names along with their ages as those confirmed. Vince McMahon, 77. Ariel Emanuel, 62. Egon P. Durban. That's a great name. Oh, yeah. He's 49. Nick Khan. God, Nick Khan's my age. What have you done with your life, pal? I'm, I'm quite satisfied. <laughs> Stephen R. Coonan, 66. Mm. Jonathan A. Kraft, 59. Yeah, some players Sonia there Medina, 47. Oh. Mark Shapiro, 53. Eight. Nancy Tellum, 70. Carrie Wheeler, 51. Ten. The right remaining there, board spot. member to be confirmed will be selected by WWE. Who will it Brian be? Brian Alvarez. Ain't going to be me. Triple H? It definitely could be Triple H. Yeah. So I guess we'll find out soon. Dana enough. White? Well, no, it's chosen by WWE. They ain't choosing uh, Dana White. Oh, yeah. The Wednesday Dynamite. <laughs> He could be the ringer. 846,000 viewers, down 5.4% from last week. Lowest audience since July 12. 0.29 at 18 to 49, down 7% from last week. Tied for the second lowest since June 28. Dynamite ranked first on cable in the key demo, third in all of television, trailing only Big Brother and Master Chef. Which drew a .55 and a .31. You like the cooking shows? You Big like any Brother of? for a .55. Wow. Yeah. Next. You surprised on that one? I don't know. 
I haven't been following Big Brother, but it's apparently it must be very exciting right now. Well, yeah, big. What are the big shows on TV right now? You got pro wrestling, you got Big Brother, you got Vanderpump, you got Below Deck. What else we got? I don't know. I think I follow this stuff. Certainly not Nova. That's for sure. Bray White could be nearing a return to WWE. He's been out of action since late February with an undisclosed illness. However, according to a report from Fightfully, it's closer to being medically cleared. WWE and White are reportedly being extra cautious regarding his condition and long-term health. After today's update, it was explained to Fightful, the illness Bray White is actively recovering from was both career and life-threatening. Regarding a potential timeline, one source noted a fightful creative pitches have been made that could see him back on programming next month, dependent on him being medically cleared. Although, you know, when you think about it, it's like with the stuff that they do with Bray Wyatt, mm -hmm. I mean, he could be back on TV today. It's not like he needs to be wrestling. I mean, you know, I presume that he could make a bunch of funhouse segments and, uh, you know, he could assemble a crew that does all the wrestling. I mean, there's there's stuff that you could do with Bray Wyatt. He's not wrestled at all since a February 26 house show in Rockford. Don't like hearing that, though, that, you know, we knew he was ill, but to hear that it was life-threatening and career-threatening, that is, it's nasty. You know, regardless of what you think about the Bray Wyatt character, Wyndham Rotundo is a human being, so I hope, you know, he is getting better. Obviously, if they're talking about a, planning on clearing him for a return, He's going to be closer to it, so he is doing better, so that's good. Um, I don't want to see him hurt or anything like that, but Bray Wyatt once every four months sounds about right. Sounds about good, depending on how long you go with the storyline. So I am not happy that he's been gone because he's been sick, but considering the last thing we had was that Lights Out match and the build towards the L.A. Night thing that people pushed back on, you know, this will be interesting to see how they come back and how often they actually use this guy because, you know, the less the better, unfortunately, with the type of character that he is. FTR, hopeful CMFTR versus the Elite will happen eventually. Never give up. Never give up. Go, yes. Yeah. Are you expressing doubt? Dak said, I think if the cards fall in the right place and, you know, the story is right and the opportunity calls for it, then hell yeah, you can do it. Could. I think wrestling is all about making the most money for yourselves and the company you work for. I think everyone here all agrees with that. The more time passes, the more likely I think it is that we get there. Well, he's not wrong. No, actually, I've mentioned this a thousand times, okay? Yes, go ahead. You're not paid on the house. No, you're not. You're not given a pay-per-view bonus. No. You're you're literally doing this like if if you want to say that, you know, this would increase business dramatically and Tony Khan would pocket more money, then yeah, you're welcome to say that. But Dax and Cash are not going to make any more money doing this feud. Are you dealing in, in CM semantics Punk here is, though? No, they're actually not. They might sell more merch based yeah. on the feud. But, you know, I've never the heard... Show might get more popular. Have, have you ever looked them? at the FTR merchandise numbers? Like, they're selling tons of shirts. <laughs> they okay? are, yes. You think FTR are hurting for merchandise money? <laughs> Literally, I'm begging... But don't you I'm, want more? You're a guy who wants more, I'm begging anybody right? here... What about them? Can't ...to explain to me how Dax, Cash, Nick, and Matt, and CM Punk, and Kenny Omega are going to make any more money doing this feud. This is not WWE. This is not, like, how are they going to make more money? Just explain it to me. Selling more shirts is the best anybody has come up with. <laughs> I'm asking. Okay, what are you, why are you yelling at me about this? You know, the, look, I, the, why are you jumping so hard on this when, you know, it's kind of a stock wrestler answer, is it? Yeah, we want to make more money, want to create more interest, we're going to do this. Come on, I mean, aren't you coming down a little hard on this here? And let's be honest here, time has proven, the more of it goes by, not everything is healable. That is for sure. Not in the wrestling business, not in life, not in a lot of things, but like... 
we've seen it over time where things that we thought were frozen over thaw again. So could this possibly happen one day? Sure. Would they like it to happen? Sure. Am I that hung up on the fact that they say everybody's going to make more money? No, stop. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.